I think I'm coming out in hardback. Really, Morris? I think you ought to go and see a vet. It'd be very nasty at your age, you know. I'm talking about the book I'm writing. Oh, I see. I shall be famous. Will you still talk to me, Morris? Oh, yes. <laughs> Got some coffee? Hmm. I wonder what it'll be like. Oh, brown and lumpy. Being famous, I mean. Well, that'll just be lumpy. Uh, is that your lot of students there? Yeah. You see that little dark-haired girl? What, Debbie Carson? Her anatomy is all over the place. <laughs> yeah. It is, isn't it? Do you know, she didn't even know what or where the coracobrachialis was. That's a nice little Greek restaurant down in Newtown, isn't it? <laughs> oh. All right, enough chat, you lot. Over here, please. I want to show you a leg. Mm. Used to be a male stripper, you know. Uh... Good morning. My name is Dr. Morris Austin Griffin, MBBS, FRACS, part one. You may call me doctor. Oh, you may call him doctor, but most people call him creep. So my name is uh, Duncan Waring. You can all call me Dunk. Now, I should expect all my students at all times to observe the three A's. Alertness, attentiveness and astuteness as the only way to achieve further A's in their exams. Ooh. Well, in that case, my mob can reserve the three B's, burden, boozing, and bedding. Bedding? <laughs> hmm, bedding, yes, it's sex, really, but it doesn't begin with a B. Well, you can see if you observe that despicable code, you won't rise very high in the profession. And there is the living example. Oh, right, well, you have a choice, then. You could either be taught by a cold, lifeless lump of skin and bone like Morris, or a warm, lovable, bouncy degenerate like me. <laughs> Sense and integrity prevail, I see, Waring. Well, my lot follow me, Waring's lot. Good luck. <laughs> now, first thing, I want you to have a look at Mr. Jackson's leg. Now, what we'll be attempting here is an advanced surgical technique for obdulating the subhermetic lemnia, as in such cases of phagolitis of the glabnoid fabnia, uh, involving a mid mid thigh amputation. That's very, very good, Morris. Thank you, Waring. Uh, there's only one thing wrong there. Mr. Jackson is in bed one, not in bed three. <laughs> My mob, follow me. Griffin's mob, good luck. <laughs> so, uh, and here we got Mr. Webster, who's a patient I'd like you all to have a look at, to see if he's available. Hang on. OK, I'll raise you five dollars. <laughs> Dick, what are you doing? Well, the moment I'm losing forty dollars, but I reckon I'll be in pocket by the end of the day. <laughs> well, come on, I've got a... Mob of students, I want to have a look at Mr. Webster's back. I'd much rather see his hand. Just a second, Tom. Oh. Oh. Turn off. Very good. Now, come on, hurry up, will you? What's he got, sir? Three kings. <laughs> Where's Debbie gone? Uh... What's Webster got? A sebaceous cyst. Does that beat a pair of eights? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Oh. <laughs> Just testing your reflexes, Mr. Webster. Well, where to now, mate? Well, there's, uh, there's Mr. Spade in Ward 8, or is it Dix in 6? Oh, no. forget it. Hang on, hang on, before you go. Dix has just come out of the operating theatre. He's feeling very groggy. We could win easily. Oh, great. <laughs> all right. Now, uh, I'd like you all to have a look at Mr. Webster's back. Tell me what you find, OK? Yes, and if any of you would care to place a small wager on your diagnosis, I'd only be too happy to cover it. Not with my patient, Dick. But I will have a little bet with you. Oh, yes? Yes. I would like to bet that you haven't got all that rent money you owe me. No, I haven't. Mm. But it's your fault. Mine? Well, I was trying to win it back from Bailey and Kemp. Oh, I see. And I suppose they've got all the money you owe me for the repairs on the car? Oh, no. Great. Webster's got that. <laughs> but never mind, I can get it back. Watch this. I don't see any money. No, hang on. I'm learning how to card sharp. <laughs> I'm learning how to make cards disappear and vanish. Uh. Watch this. <laughs> Professor Beaumont. Dr. Stuart Clark. Uh, Dick was just showing me a, a card trick, sir, for the children's Christmas party. In the middle of April? <laughs> well, it takes a lot of practice, sir. I'm making things appear and vanish. <laughs> well, now that I've appeared, you can vanish. Yes, sir, I like a shot. <laughs> An ace, too. I told you I could do it, sir. <laughs> right, how are you doing? 
No, no, is this any good? Oh, wearing, I'm not a wearing, are you? Uh, it's, it's all right, sir. Just um, practicing for the children's Christmas party, eh? Well done. Carry on. <laughs> what did you want to see me for, sir? Uh, here, uh, here. Um, brown sludge? Uh, no, thanks, sir. <laughs> sir, sir. Yes, sir, yes. you have to put money in first. I am a professor of surgery. <laughs> well done, sir. Ah, there we are. <laughs> now, um, I believe you've got a flat. A flat what, sir? <laughs> and a pot and, oh, and a pad. Yes, I share with Stuart Clarks. Yeah, well, what's it like? Not very nice. He's a bit untidy. Never cleans up. I the mean the flat. Oh, the flat. The flat. Very nice. Quiet. It's about 20 minutes away from here, sir. Good, yes. Well, I'm looking for one. Well, Mrs. Beaumont slung you out, has she? <laughs> hey? Hey? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, it's, um, yeah, it's a bit awkward, sir. We haven't got a spare room, you see. I only want it for the afternoon. Oh, what for? <laughs> 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 you randy, naughty, wicked, dirty old... Yes! <laughs> uh, professor of surgery, sir. <laughs>